What's going on everybody? Shane Simon back again. The holidays are here again. It is the season for gift giving. And thinking about that has made me think about a lot of the interesting and some really rad gifts and tips that I've gotten for tattoo. The one at the end is real weird. So stick around. <laughs> So I've gotten some seriously rad stuff as tips for tattoos and some really, really weird stuff. Of course, tips are, tips are never mandatory, but they're definitely always appreciated. Most people just decide to leave a little bit of extra cash, the same sort of gratuity that they would leave at a restaurant, and it is much appreciated. It definitely lets me know that people understand the amount of work uh, and effort that I put into their tattoo. But then some people like to leave other things for tips. Some of the cooler ones that I've gotten. I've gotten a lot of like oddities and dead stuff, bones, skulls. I even got a set of deer antlers once. Part of the skull is still attached. One of the more odd ones that I still definitely appreciated was uh, bags of cheese. One of my clients had family members who worked uh, in a particular restaurant that I will not name, and they ended up bringing me giant gallon bags of nacho cheese. And I believe there were a bunch of tortilla chips involved as well. I got a lot of enjoyment out of that one. I actually had a client that was coming to me pretty regularly for a long time that worked in a pizza joint, and they would always bring me a stack of pizzas as a tip. As far as things one can consume, I've even gotten tiny alcohol. And I've even gotten tinier alcohol. Knives. I've been tipped in a lot of knives. Like fixed blade military knives, pocket knives, all sorts of stuff. Just all types of knives. One biker guy brought me what I'm pretty sure was a really expensive cigar. Unfortunately, I don't smoke. And even more recently, one of my good clients understands how hard it's been uh, for a lot of tattoo artists since all this COVID stuff started going down to even find basic supplies like gloves and paper towels. So they brought me a giant pack of paper towels. And even something like that really does mean a ton to me. Uh, even the tiniest tip means the world to me. Something as simple as a little bitty guitar pick. This one is uh, from tattooing the bassist of the band Guar. One of the times that I worked on him, he left me a stack of these little guys and some merch. I like keeping those around because he's a seriously rad dude. And I've even gotten the most important pick of all, the pick of destiny. I got the pick of destiny from a guitarist that works as a stagehand during the day, and he always gets super cool work. Now, why do I keep any of this stuff? I like being reminded of exactly how awesome my friends and my clients are. And one that I really didn't expect was a tiny little guitar. The guy that left me that was retired from the Navy, and after he got out, he took to uh, collecting tiny little guitars. I thought that was pretty cool. I do remember one tip that was kind of unintentional. Originally, the guy that brought it in didn't really mean to leave it at the shop. One of my clients, years back, brought in a statue that his son gave him before his son passed away. And it was uh, kind of like a fantasy statue. It had like a, a skull with some spiky stuff at the bottom and a big dragon on the top. And he wanted me to, to draw this for him and wanted to... Uh, Wanted to make a rib panel out of it. I was stoked about this. Stoked. And he brought it in and he told me, he told me the importance of it to him and told me to keep it safe. But unfortunately, that was kind of out of my control. It just so happens that as soon as he brought that by, uh, we had a crazy snowstorm, an ice storm, that shut everything down. And during this ice storm, we had former employees of the tattoo shop that I was working in break in and destroy everything. And unfortunately, one of the things that they destroyed was that statue given to my client by his deceased son. So I had to make the call uh, to tell that guy that it was just shattered. It was in so many pieces that we really couldn't put it back together very well. Unfortunately, I haven't seen him since, and I kind of understand. He just told me to keep what was left of the statue, and I haven't seen him since, unfortunately. On a much lighter note, I even got a watch from one of my clients at one point. As I was tattooing a sleeve on one of my regular clients, I noticed his watch, and about halfway through the session, told him it looked pretty cool. So at the end of the session, he just looks at me and says, Oh yeah, here, here you go, and takes the watch off of his wrist and gives it to me. Before we get to this last item, now I told you this last item, this one's weird. 
I gotta tell you to go check out the contest that I'm running right now. If you're not already following me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube, all you have to do is follow me and comment on this video. And on Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020, I'm gonna go through each of those platforms and choose one person each to win a free mask. And in the meantime, if you're like me and you never really win stuff, just use the code HOLIDAY10 on ShaneSimmons.com for 10% off of absolutely anything on the site. Some of the stuff is already discounted anyways, and you'll still get 10% off of that. This last item is weird. It started on a day where I was, where I was at the tattoo shop by myself, and it was just super quiet. The entire day was just dead. There was no one in the parking lot. You didn't really see anybody driving on the road. There was just no one out anywhere and out of nowhere this guy comes bumbling around the corner pushes into the tattoo shop and i could already tell something was kind of off he just had kind of a strange personality which is fine but he was just a little off and while trying to help him figure out what kind of a tattoo he was looking for he started crying several times so i asked him what was wrong and he ended up telling me that his father passed away which I totally understand. Grief does weird stuff to people. So he's still kind of crying a little bit. He's definitely dealing with some stuff. But then when he sat down in my chair, his entire demeanor changed. As soon as his butt hit that seat, like somebody flipped a switch. Hey, how you doing? Everything okay? It's great, right? It was real weird. But people seem strange sometimes. That's fine. Not my place to judge. And as we're finishing up this tattoo, I get him bandaged up, tell him his aftercare instructions, everything seems fine, and he hops up out of the chair, and I smell it. I was so taken aback that I thought, I thought for an instant, someone had just ripped one. But no, no, that, that second wave, that wall hit me. That man pooped himself in my chair. Did not acknowledge it at all, but I was just shocked. As one does with certain experiences working in a tattoo shop, you just push it out of your mind. I didn't think anything of it. It was just, meh. That was just one of the weird days in the tattoo shop. Whatever. Till about a week later, I was in the shop with one of my coworkers. She was at the front counter, and I was in our cleaning room sterilizing supplies, and I heard the door chime. And something just told me, something just told me, in my gut, that it was the chair pooper. So as I'm scrubbing supplies back there, and bagging them up, putting them into our autoclave and sterilizing them. About 45 minutes to an hour goes by, and he's still just there. This person that, that something told me was that guy. But nobody called for me, so I just continued what I was doing. Eventually I heard the door chime again and someone shuffle out. So as I walk into the lobby from our cleaning room, my coworker just looks at me, just stares. And I ask her, what's wrong? And she just keeps staring. And after a long pause, she just tells me, Look in your chair. So I walk around the half wall into my station and she tells me, Oh, the guy you tattooed last week, he came back and he left you a tip and peek around the back of the chair. And what do I see? But a green plastic fishing reel from the 1970s. No pole, no line, just an empty fishing reel. What the f After all of the previous interaction with this person, just weird as hell. I get this. So I ask, why did he leave me a green plastic fishing reel? And all my coworker would tell me was, he just felt like you should have it. So I've kept it, because there's no way anybody's gonna believe that. It's just so weird. So here is your proof. The weirdest thing I've ever gotten as a tip for a tattoo. So if you like the video, feel free to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and remember to use this code to get 10% off of everything on my website. And while you're there, pick up an e-gift card that's good for merch, artwork, and tattoos. So until next time, stay rad, y'all.